Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. There's been four announcements this week, including high resolution custom metrics and alarms for Amazon CloudWatch. Three new specialty training courses are now available. There's GPU powered streaming instances for Amazon AppStream 2.0 and CloudFormation stack set allows you to deploy CloudFormation templates across multiple accounts as well as multiple regions. I'm Ryan Krunenberg and this is AWS This Week. So let's start with high resolution custom metrics and alarms for Amazon CloudWatch. Now Amazon CloudWatch allows you to monitor your cloud environment. It was first launched in 2009 and the default monitoring uh, period was five minutes. So you could monitor your cloud environment every five minutes. In 2010, Amazon's customers had been asking them to lower the interval times and it was reduced to one minute. And in 2012, Amazon's customers kept asking for custom metrics. So things like the available memory on an EC2 instance, for example. So they rolled out custom metrics, which allowed you to do this. Now in 2017, or this week rather, they've just en enabled high resolution custom metrics. And this allows you to measure things like your um, free memory space on your EC2 instances. So you have a much more granular interval period now in which to measure your custom metrics. You can measure them every single second. And this can pick up things like your available free memory. Instead of having to wait for a minute, you can now do this on a second by second basis. And this is now immediately available in the CloudWatch portal. The AWS training and certification team have released three new specialty training courses and these were actually very popular workshops at both the summits and at reInvent. And these three courses are Build a Serverless Data Lake on AWS, The Secrets to Successful Cloud Transformation, and then Running Container Enabled Microservices on AWS and that's a very ECS focused course. So Amazon AppStream 2.0 was launched at reInvent in 2016, and it allows you to stream your Windows-based applications to your web browsers. And these applications can run on general purpose instances, memory optimized instances, as well as CPU optimized instances. And this week, Amazon have released two new GPU optimized instances to AppStream 2.0 as well. You've got your graphic desktop instances. These run on G2 instances, and they have 15 gigs of RAM and up to 8 vCPUs. And then you have your Graphics Pro instances, and these use G3 instances. You've got three different sizes, anywhere from 122 to 488 gigs in RAM, and from 16 vCPUs up to 64 vCPUs in size. And I think the most interesting announcement this week was around CloudFormation. There's a new product called CloudFormation Stackset. And a lot of organizations have multiple AWS accounts and they use AWS organizations in order to manage these accounts. And now deploying CloudFormation templates across multiple accounts and multiple regions has become a lot easier. You can now use the new service called StackSet. And essentially it allows you to deploy your CloudFormation templates across multiple AWS accounts and multiple regions. And you can even do this in specific orders. So if you want to deploy a CloudFormation template to Japan first, followed by Sydney, followed by uh, London, you can do this now. And CloudFormation stack set makes this really too easy to do. All it takes is now a couple of clicks in the AWS console. So that is it for AWS this week. There are no new summits uh, next week, but the week after that, there will be a summit in New York. The A Cloud Guru team will be there. So make sure you come and check us out and get your free t-shirts and stickers. See you next week, Cloud Gurus. Keep being awesome.